So when you get a horizontal and a vertical together, it creates a 90 degrees. Well, no wonder when you put that 90 degree over the ball, you can see that's going to be lost and that's going to be lost. So what do we want? We want one in the middle of a 90 degree. What's the middle of a 90 degree? 45. The 45 in the middle is going to move to target. So when you look at your golf swing simply at address, what is the angle of the shaft to the ground? Approximately 45. When we move the arm correctly, what is the angle to the ground? 45. When we move that left arm to the top of the swing around the spiral, does it go up vertical, down horizontal? No, about 45. The club face at the top, does it move horizontal or vertical? No, about 45. So on the way down, as we center the body and come to delivery position, the club's in the 45 degree again. Impact, 45. Through swing, 45. Finish in balance, 45. So all of a sudden we get this 45 degree angle up, down, impact, through. So if you consider this 45 degree movement around the body, around and through, your direction is much more consistent. And when you move this way, your balance is more consistent. So with this great balance, the club tends to move around great positions. If you've got poor balance, it drops the club or forces the club out of position. Equal and opposite reaction in force. We force one thing that way, the other one will react and vice versa. So we don't want that. We want everything to move in balance. And when your body moves in balance, the club moves in balance and we finish in balance.